Use two or three. Okay. What color is this one? Indian red, Indian red or yeah. Venetian. So that'll be three. One, two, three. Like a rust color. Oh, I mean like yeah. for the next oh, step. Okay, okay. Yeah. sorry. Yeah. And then um, sometimes though to get this more gray, yeah. see how it's less pure? Yeah. Okay. It's not like striking bright purple. Right. Um, I do cheat and take a little bit of burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is a great way to subdue any pure, especially blues. Yeah. So remember the first chart that we did? We took burnt sienna and we took blue. Yeah. And we made a gray chart out of it, like yeah. from one end to the other. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you still work this this stage dry, or is it wet? I just blue dry it with okay. the dryer. Okay. Okay. So what I might do is give myself a hand in the corner. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing more moisture. Right guys? Yeah. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in that corner. And then maybe a little in this corner. A speck here. Now, not a lot though, okay? So um, to get these ragged edges, it has to be dry, okay? And so this is dry there, okay? Um, I'll start in the corner though. Oops, I'm not sure if I want it quite that color up there. And I'm using the side of the brush and I'm going to drag some of that down. Okay, now I'm going to get... Charlie, now is not the time. It's okay. Mm -hmm. He wants to see, I think that's what he wants, is to see what's going on. <laughs> Let's be and if you notice, you gotta, yeah, to, gotta really clean your brush. Okay, so there we go. Now you gotta be careful if you stop halfway like that, right? Because you could get a line in the middle. Yeah, that's right. work quickly. But you can do this sky in sections, right? Notice that I'm changing color as I go. Mm -hmm. You don't really get a, a solid blue line happening. So I'm kind of grabbing some different colors. And I, my puddle isn't completely mixed. I'm gonna soften this. Just drag a little of that off and then Ooh. just to it'll tell you that something's there now in here there's you can come in and uh, load your brush with some good rich color if you want the drama or drama I added one little touch of burnt sienna now, just because. Well, I'm just good. I'm just gonna have to hope that I get what I want. Is it wet in here? I want it dry. Okay. Okay, now see how I'm using oh, the brush? Okay, okay sure. Uh, it rocking it. Yeah, and you can just, mm -hmm. you can uh, quickly get in and uh, reshape in here if you want some something else going on okay mm -hmm. so you've all seen this kind of a shape in the sky right kind of just you've got little bits yeah. okay and now I don't want to do the whole painting like that and I'm gonna soften even some of these because I don't want too much okay just a little now get I'm gonna warm it up just a bit Notice I took a bit more from the red pile. Now, the danger is getting too busy, right? So now time to relax. Time to relax that. But didn't that... Okay. 
if your sky gets too busy, keep your foreground really simple, okay? I'm just, I'm just kind of defining this in here a little bit. But I want this area in here. And I'm just putting a, a warmer violet again. See how there's a little bit more red in there? Now, ideally, I wish I had more yellow right here. <clears throat> right there. And you couldn't add it now? I actually, I'm going to add it right now. I was already on my way, thanks. With the red sienna, right? No, nope, the raw sienna. Raw. raw sienna. There we go. The problem is that I had lavender on my brush. It's not as uh, pure as I would like it. And there, there was a little lavender underneath, just mm -hmm. a speck. But um, on good paper, can you wipe that off? And um, mm. kind of yes, kind of no. And see how there's some little darker bits in here. I'm hoping this is um, wet enough to carry it off, but I might not be. But I, I'm just punching it up a bit. Does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. And I don't want it to be too much of a line, so I'm going to bring it up a bit. So I'm kind of just reconfiguring a bit. But I have to be careful here, really careful. And hopefully, because that's the kind of thing that can go all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm going to do. Um, that's lovely. I don't know. This is Maybe just a touch of that in, right? Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit in here. Yeah. The balance, right? Then I'm going to put a, just a wee touch of red in it as well. Not, not much though. I don't want I don't want a lavender scene. I mean not lavender but violet. Mm. Now I I have to do something with these edges, okay Terry? Yeah. Otherwise I'm gonna have a lot too many hard edges. And hopefully I won't have to come back and wash away edges. I'm sorry. <laughs> you seem to be washing away all the edges, but except for that heavier one. Because you won that. It's because there was no white beside them. I don't want the heavy edge, really, unless I have something light beside it. That's why I blended away those edges. That's all I'm going to do, because if I do more, I could just destroy it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, for a few minute demonstration, that's all I can hope for, really. I took a bit more time with that one. Now over here, I just want to drift that off a bit too. Right. But for stormy skies, wouldn't you have that color in more places? I have it in every place. I have it everywhere. Yeah, I know, but I mean the darker area, no? I'll have polka dots all over the place. I can't picture it in my head, that's why I'm having trouble. Because I'm not... The thing is, is that this is a stormy sky, but you can have anything you want because you can have a sky so black that when I'm driving home at, at three, it looks like six. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, have you ever had those dark afternoons? Well, yes. We yeah. Had them yesterday. So you can, you can control that. If you want that scene to have more drama, punch it up. 